Hey guys, it's Aislinn and in today's video we're gonna be trying a new hair care line that I've never tried before. Apparently it's a huge hair care line and I had never heard of it before, but when I went to Florida earlier this year, um, all the girls were talking about it and I got a bunch of free product. So we're gonna try everything today. I'm gonna give you my honest opinion and review. I have heard mixed things about this brand. I've heard they make amazing hot tools. They have apparently a bunch of different hot tools and stuff. And then they also have a whole line of hair care products some people swear by this hair care brand and are so devoted to it other people they don't think it's that great so I'm gonna test some of their hair care today and one of their hot tools and we're gonna see what this brand is all about the brand we're trying today is Foxy Bay so I actually just saw a comment from one of you guys on a video a few weeks ago asking if I could review Foxy Bay and I've had this set aside for like a month or two now waiting to review it and then I got a comment and I was like okay we actually need to film this video and like see what it's all about I don't know if this is gonna be one of those brands that's just has a bunch of hype because it's backed by a bunch of affiliates or if it's actually really good product and that's why it's so popular so I'm gonna test it today and see what I think about it give you guys my honest opinion let's go over everything I got so I got this blow dryer which I have never owned a blow dryer like this like technology is getting insane and I just can't keep up with the times I'm a millennial so I was born like during the cusp of the internet change and everything I grew up with a landline didn't have a cell phone growing up so like new technology it's hard for me to get on the bandwagon but I have been wanting one of these blow dryers so I got this blow dryer it has several different attachments in here so it has the regular um, blow dryer it has a diffuser it has a blowout brush it has a barrel with a clip-on for a curling iron. So we're gonna try all of these today. The next product I got is the Foxy Bay No Fox Given Don't Hate Hydrate Replenishing Hair Mask. Um, sulfate and paraben free and it has biotin inside. This is eight little packets. This is vegan and cruelty free. So we have this hair mask and you guys know I can never get enough hair masks, okay? You guys know I do a lot of stuff to my hair, so give me all the hair masks. I will use every single one of these for sure. Then I have two styling products here. So I have Foxy Bay, not Fox Given, Big T's Volumizing Hairspray, and then I have Foxy Bay, no Fox Given, Turned Up Volumizing Dry Shampoo with Biotin, Sulfate, and Paraben Free. So let's go ahead and try these. All of these are vegan and cruelty free. They have the Leaping Bunny logo on the back. I also got this cute little hair clip that says Foxy on it and like diamond rhinestones. And then last thing I got is a hairbrush. This is the brush. It is a beautiful rose gold color and it looks like it's a wet brush so here's my wet brush and here is the foxy bay one the bristles are longer which helps with detangling wet hair it eliminates a lot of breakage so here's the rose gold detangling brush it has a little foxy bay logo on the back so we're gonna do this in kind of a reverse order because my hair is currently oily and dirty i'm actually gonna try the dry shampoo now because i don't want to wash my hair and then try it on clean hair that kind of eliminates the purpose so we're gonna try this first then i'm gonna go wash my hair we're gonna do the deep conditioning mask together. I'm gonna rinse that out and then we will blow dry my hair using this crazy blow dryer that I'm excited to try. We're gonna use the brush while blow drying and we're also then going to try the volumizing hairspray after we get done styling. So we have several different products here that we can use on our hair at all different stages before you wash, while you're washing, after you wash, blow drying. I feel like I have a good amount of products here. The only thing I feel like I'm missing is a leave-in treatment. So maybe in the future, if I like these products, maybe I will purchase some more of their hair care line and we can go more in depth on products and try them. But I feel like this is a good starter kit for us. So let's go ahead and try the volumizing dry shampoo. First step is to read a little bit about it because again, you guys, I literally didn't even know this brand existed until a couple months ago. And apparently they're huge. Like now that I know they exist, I see them everywhere. So let's go ahead and read what the dry shampoo is. I will say I am very picky with dry shampoo, you guys. I've tried several and I am very picky. I don't like a lot of dry shampoos. I've only found two that I like, so hopefully I like this one. All right, let's read the back. It says, washing your hair in the morning, ain't nobody got time for that. 
Get fresh and bouncy hair instantly without having to worry that you hit the snooze button one too many times. Just section your hair, spray it on your scalp, and massage the product for maximum freshness and vitality. Our special formula not only has highly effective oil absorbing properties, but it also helps restore your hair's natural body and volume. Whether you're a busy gal or a lazy gal, the turned up volumizing dry shampoo can transform your hair from drab to fab, just shake and spray. And then for the directions, it says shake before use, section hair and spray product at least five inches from your scalp, massage or brush the product in to absorb oil, add volume and get rid of unwanted product buildup. Suitable for most hair types. I do have clip-in extensions and sew-ins. So I'm actually gonna start at the top of my head because I feel like the top of my head, like right here is where I get the most oily. So let's go ahead, shake. I'm curious about the smell. You guys know I'm a little smell gal. I love certain smells and I'm very picky with smells. So let's see if this smells good. Let me do a little sniff test. Okay, it smells like a standard product. I've definitely smelt other dry shampoos that have this exact same smell. I feel like the Batiste dry shampoo smells almost exactly the same as this. So let's go ahead. Here's my before. My roots are pretty greasy up there. Um, they're kind of sticking together and not giving me as much volume. And massage in here. I wanna make sure I get it really good and worked in. Yeah, it smells really nice. I enjoy the smell quite a bit. Just gonna massage it in there and then let's go ahead and comb this out. Okay, here we can see a difference. Here's the side that I sprayed. Here's the side that I did not. It definitely absorbed my oil, as you guys can see. This side is a lot more oily. I'm sure you guys can tell. This side looks fresh. It looks freshly washed and styled. Like there is definitely a difference. Feel wise, it definitely absorbs some of those oils. It doesn't feel as greasy and it just feels like freshly washed hair. Like you guys see this compared to this. Okay, first product, I'm down, I'm down. Okay, let's do this side. Also, I'm noticing I'm not getting a lot of white residual powder with this. I will try it um, on darker pieces back here to see, obviously I'm blonde, so it's not gonna show up as well. I also do feel like it is giving a little bit of volume, not a crazy amount of volume, but I do feel like it's volumizing my hair a little bit. You guys can see my hair versus the extensions, like up here where I put that, it seems a little bit fuller than my extensions down here. Let's try it on this brown piece back here. You guys see how I'm spraying that very close to my scalp? Okay, I sprayed a bunch and I do not see any white residue up here. And if there is any, it's very, very, like not a lot. You guys can see my little patchiness right here. <laughs> wow, I'm actually very impressed. Do we see any white residue? I feel like most dry shampoos definitely leave a lot of white residue, which for me isn't a big deal if it does leave white residue. I just work it in. I'll grab my blow dryer sometimes and put it on hot so that way like it absorbs into my hair and I'm not left with little white patches. But if you're a brunette, try this because if you're a brunette, it is a little bit more annoying to have those like white spots in your hair, but I am loving this. Okay, first product is a yes for me. It's definitely up there as far as all the different dry shampoos I have tried. Um, yeah, wow, I'm actually impressed. Our next product we're gonna try is the Don't Hate Hydrate Replenishing Hair Mask. This one I am the most excited about and the most curious about for me. I can 100% tell if a deep conditioning mask is working right away or not. Most of the time, right after I rinse the product off, I can tell if my hair feels softer, if it looks softer, you know what I mean? So I should be able to tell as soon as I rinse this off of my hair. I'm gonna go in with a few different packets. So this is what they look like. I like that they're individual. These are really nice for travel. I'm not sure if they have a bigger bottle of just the deep conditioner and not in the little single travel packs, but this is nice if you're going on vacation. When I go to the Bahamas, I will definitely bring a few of these along. They're just convenient for travel, you know? So I'm gonna go ahead and use two of these. Let's read about this mask and what it is supposed to do for your hair. On the back, it says, we've scoured the world to find the most nourishing ingredients and put them into this delicious mask 
to give you the hair transformation of your dreams. You're about to go from damn to hot damn in no time. Our intense nourishing blend of ingredients is crazy rich in vitamins and natural extracts to help you glow up your hair game. Then it tells you about the key benefits. It says argon oil moisturizes, hydrates both hair and scalp to help prevent dryness and dandruff. Coconut extract adds lustrous shine and helps restore elasticity. I need that. Horse chestnut extract antioxidants help protect against daily moisture loss from heat and sun damage. Panthenol Pro Vitamin B5 helps with detangling and manageability. Shea butter leaves hair silky, soft, full bodied with improved texture. Biotin helps strengthen and prevent hair loss while promoting growth. Nettle leaf extract helps prevent split ends and breakage. And then it says smooth and controls frizz. For the application, it says after cleansing with shampoo, remove excess water and apply evenly to clean, damp, or towel dried hair. Leave on three to five minutes, then rinse. For severely dry hair in need of intense moisture, definitely me. apply prior to shampooing. For oily hair types, apply only to the parts of the hair shaft that feel the driest. Distribute everything evenly using a wide tooth comb. This is also paraben and sulfate free, cruelty free, and vegan. It said for extremely damaged hair, apply on dry hair. Um, I'm not gonna apply it on the extensions dry because my extensions are the healthiest part of my hair, but I do have like little breakage parts back here. So I'm gonna apply one mask on the areas of my hair that are very, very damaged. I'm excited to smell this, let's see. Ooh, it smells really good. Ooh, I like that. It smells like baby powder. Ooh, baby powder mixed with something else better than baby powder. Smells better than the dry shampoo in my opinion. So here's what it looks like. It is very thick, as you guys can see. It's just a thick conditioning mask. Oh, okay, this has a different feel to it than most conditioners. You know there's a difference between like lotion and body butter. Regular conditioner feels like lotion. This feels like a thick like body cream or body butter. It kind of has like an oily consistency. I'm gonna start by applying this back here to my little breakage spots. I do think this would be better applied on um, like damp hair like they said, but I do have some spots back here that could probably benefit from it being put on dry hair. All right, let me go wash my hair real quick and I will be right back so we can apply this mask on my hair together. All right, we are back with clean hair. It feels so good to wash your scalp when your hair is dirty. So I had that mask on my hands um, from putting it on that little breakage on the back of my head. So when I went to go rinse off the mask that was on my hands, the texture of this is something I don't think I have ever experienced from a repairing mask like this. It almost feels like a sticky conditioner. And then when I rinsed my hands under the water, it was like slick and soft. And it's just like, it doesn't feel like a normal conditioner. I don't know. Okay, we're gonna try it. Let's go ahead and put this on damp hair. My hair is very tangled right now. So we're gonna see if this actually does in fact help with tangles. This honestly goes quite a long way. If you guys have tried Foxy Bay before, leave a comment trying to explain the feeling of this repairing conditioner because the only thing I can explain to you is like the lotion versus like body butter or shea butter reference. And then also that there's like a little bit of stick to this. I need you guys to experience this because it is the strangest feeling. I literally can't think of a deep conditioning repairing mask that I've tried that even really compares to this. Like I said, it's got like this slick stickiness to it. It's super thick and feels like a whipped body butter or something like that. While this process is three to five minutes, I'm gonna look up the prices of this stuff. So I'm on their website and it seems like they're always having deals. Three for $35 hair care and BOGO tools. I need to know what products you want me to try. Like we gotta, we're in this together. Let me see their hair tools. How much is this blow dryer set? Let's see. I feel like it's probably astronomically expensive. $139. So that's expensive for a blow dryer when you can go to Walmart and get one for like 30 bucks or something. But it's a whole styling kit. So I'd say that's not bad considering professional ones go for like two or $300. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this out and I will be right back and we'll blow dry it. Okay, mask is rinsed out. My hair felt really good and slick when I rinsed out the conditioner. So my hair is feeling good. The only thing I will say, because the texture is kind of sticky and thick, 
make sure to thoroughly rinse out the conditioner. I feel like if you leave any of the conditioner in your hair, you're probably gonna get spots that are like sticky or look greasy. So spend the extra time rinsing out the treatment because I can definitely see how your hair would feel nasty if you don't get all the product out. Wow, okay, it feels good. Feels good. Does my hair feel better than any other deep conditioning treatment? Yes and no. I will say I definitely like this one better than the Bleach London one. I think my hair feels way better, but I do like the Ex Mondo, the new one that just came out that I reviewed. I do like that one better than this one. My hair kind of feels like it has a coating on it, or it feels like it has something on the surface to make it feel better. I don't know if that's actually the case or not, but that's kind of how it feels. When I'm feeling my hair, it feels soft, it feels slick, and it feels healthier than before. So I like that. Let's go ahead and open up my new blow dryer. I almost whacked myself in the face. It tells a little bit about the styler. Like this is very in-depth packaging. So we're gonna go over this because I do think it's important um, to figure out why this is the blow dryer you should get compared to like 50 other blow dryers on the market that do the same thing. <sighs> get ready, it's long, it's gonna be winded. It says, our rose gold super styler is the perfect space saver combining every attachment you need to dry and style your hair with a quick release of a button. The 1,100 watt ergonomic handle is the base for a snap-on drying cylinder, a blow dryer brush, a diffuser, and a one inch curling iron bar barrel with clamp. The professional length six foot, 360 degree swivel cord allows for flexibility and movement and worry-free styling. And then it says faster styling, temperature and speed control means faster styling, less damage and longer lasting blowouts. Healthier hair, tourmaline technology produces negative ions that when combined with infrared properties deliver silkier straighter locks cold shot the cold shot trigger lets you lock in a style for sculpted volume and hold ionic ceramic tourmaline and negative ions heat hair evenly from the inside out locking in moisture and reducing frizz and then it says smooth finish negative ion properties seal the cuticle smoothing the hair surface for undeniable bounce and shine here's what the inside looks like we have the one inch curling iron. We have the round brush here. I wish I had this um, like a year ago when I cut like face framing bangs. This would have been perfect to like blow out my hair and like have wispiness. So there's this. Here's the regular like blow dryer head just for normal styling. Here is the diffuser attachment. If you guys did not know, I do have naturally wavy hair. So if I ever wanna style my hair wavy, I can use the attachment. So this is what the blow dryer looks like. This is so foreign to me, you guys. I am so used to this. I have never had a blow dryer that's a different shape than this. I've been using this since 1994. Okay. I think I got it on there. Now, where's the little unlock and lock? Sorry, you guys. Oh, shit, what'd I do? Oh God, that scared me so bad. Okay, so I just found out at the bottom here, you guys see those little numbers? That's how you turn on the blow dryer. So zero is off, C is cold, one is low power, low heat, and two is max power, max heat. Okay, initial thoughts. Um, I prefer my blow dryer. Um, I just feel like my blow dryer is way more powerful. This doesn't seem to put out a lot of power. I don't know if it's just this style of blow dryer in general, because again, this is my first time ever using one, but it definitely is not as powerful as my regular blow dryer that I use. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys and hopefully you guys can see the power difference. I'm gonna turn this on max and you guys will be able to see like how my hair is being blown. And then I'm gonna switch to my regular one and you'll see the power and the force is much more severe. So let's go ahead and try it. So hopefully you guys can see the difference between the two. Um, so yeah, so far I'm preferring my regular blow dryer. This is heavier, it's more clunky, it's harder to pack. This might be something I take on vacation with me somewhere, but I mean, they're both relatively large. Um, this one's just easier to pack because it has detachable heads on it. Okay, my hair is dry for the most part. It does have a tiny bit 
of dampness to it, but I think that's good for styling. So let's go ahead. We're not gonna try the diffuser today because my extensions don't have a wave pattern to them, but we are going to try the round brush and we're gonna try the curling iron. Let's go ahead and start with the round brush. I'm gonna use this specifically for my bang area. You guys can see my hair is shorter here. So we're gonna try and round brush this. That way we have some sort of swooping pattern or something going on there. So let's try that. See, this is the other thing I don't like. When I'm holding my hair, I can't just flip a switch with my thumb. I need to like turn this ring somehow. So I have to use two hands to hold it while turning it. Okay, what does it look like you guys? Do we have any type of movement? Okay, that worked pretty well, honestly, at creating some sort of movement. If you have shorter hair, it's gonna do an even better job, but it did give me a lot of volume up here at my root. It made my hair look shiny and it did tip out my ends and make them curly. So if you have like a lot of layers, this would be amazing. If you have a wolf cut, if you have a mullet, this would be amazing for styling. Okay, we put the curling iron attachment on here. One thing I have noticed is this part is kind of small. So for somebody who actually has long hair like this or even sew-in clients or extensions, it's gonna be harder to curl your hair because you don't have a lot of barrel room here. So this would work great at my natural hair, but it's probably gonna be a little bit more difficult for me to curl with the length here. So let's go ahead and turn it on and try it. Okay, so it does in fact work really well at curling the hair, look at that. That's a really, really, really pretty consistent curl pattern. It wasn't that difficult to curl this long of hair on that short um, barrel rod. So this is a great way to curl your hair. I definitely think this works well. So let's go ahead and keep curling pieces again. I have this piece I'm ready to curl and then this thing's off, so I gotta turn it on. The other thing, I wish they had a little thing right here that you can set it down while it's on. Most curling irons and stuff have a little bracket. You can set it on the counter, so that way this part that's hot doesn't touch the counter, doesn't melt things. I wish they had one of those and it's kind of awkward to hold Air sucks in through here and I instinctively want to hold it at the bottom instead of right here in the middle. So I keep accidentally covering up the vent holes, which is sucking in air. But other than that, it's working well. Let's continue. All right, we've curled half of my head. It looks really good, honestly. Um, and it did get easier to use the more and more I got used to it. Let's go in with the last product, which is the Foxy Bay Big Tees Volumizing Hairspray. This says, our Big T's volumizing hairspray gives you the body bounce and fullness that every Foxy Bay needs. This baby has the boots of beneficial ingredients like biotin and panthenol that work together to strengthen, thicken, and retain your hair's natural moisture. She adds texture, volume, and body to your hair that'll have you looking foxy anytime, anywhere. How to use. After styling, spray generously into roots and all over hair for voluminous all day hold. We're gonna do roots. Oh no. Oh, oh, there it goes. There it goes. Okay, we're gonna do roots. Okay, I'm trying to spray all over at the roots, but it's coming out a little bit at a time. Let me spray all over my ends. Okay, let's go ahead and um, rake out the curls. Ooh, ooh, a little goes a long way. Ooh, my goodness. Ooh, she's sticky. She smells real good though. Ooh, she smells delicious. I do think my hair looks thicker. It does look fuller. It's a very wet spray. I don't know why I wasn't expecting a wet spray. The texturizing spray I normally use is kind of like a powdery spray that one is like wet it's like a wet hairspray feel so a little goes a long way my hair is now a little bit tangly from that volumizing spray so if you want like super soft slick hair definitely don't use a volumizing spray because it does like get your hair a little bit sticky it's pretty sticky yeah this definitely is more of like a hairspray i feel like i wouldn't use this at my roots i would use this product to set my hair so once i get volume and stuff i would just use this as kind of like a light hairspray and just go over and spray everything. This is the best smelling product out of all of them. They all have a similar scent. This one I like better for some reason. I think they all have the same scent actually, but this smells really good. So I would definitely use that as like a hair perfume and a setting spray. So 
It definitely will hold your hair a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this side of my hair real quick and I'll be right back to show you guys the finished results. Okay, here is the finished hair. It does feel good. It smells really good. I think that the products I used are great. I love the deep conditioning mask. I liked the dry shampoo. It's one of the better ones I've tried. Um, the blow dryer, not for me. That might just be my personal preference. However, I do think it works really well if you like blow dryers like this. And also, I like the attachments. I will definitely keep it and use this attachment. And honestly, I might even use this one more often because the more I did it, the easier it was. I started figuring out how to section my hair while curling and stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna keep using it keep seeing how it does, if it gets easier for me. Um, and it worked really well too. Like I can see how this might be an easier option than using a curling iron. I think that Foxy Bay has some pretty great products and overall I am very impressed by this brand. I definitely wanna go on their website and buy a few more of their hair care items, more of their styling products and test those for you guys. That way I can get like a better understanding cause some things were hit and some things were missed. Overall, I feel like it was a hit though. I'm pretty impressed for never hearing of a brand and I do think the hype is worth it. I definitely do. I feel like they got some pretty strong products in here. I will leave a link to their website in the description down below. If you have tried Foxy Bay, leave your experience in the comment section down below because I would love to know. I'm sure a lot of you guys are way more experienced in the Foxy Bay hair care regimen than I am. So please share your opinions and thoughts with other people before they buy. So that way, you know, if you had great experiences or you recommend certain products, leave it down below and help everybody else out who's watching this video. That is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out my Instagram. The link to that is in the description down below. I post way more of my everyday life on there. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I love you guys so much and I will see you next time. Bye.